Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and you are hanging out here on the Citadel server. We are in the spun chunks area of the server at the iron farm where we are fixing it up because it is very much, well it was broken, it is now functioning well. However, uh, we have some things to look into because I'm curious as to whether um, we have to make some adjustments to the actual spun chunks on the server. If you have been uh, under a rock, then you might not know that I do the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs every Monday. There's a brand new episode out right now, episode 310, where we talked about this. We talked about modded Minecraft. We talked about Johnny's fantasy uh, endeavors on the um, fantasy SMP with Mythical Sausage and Whip and those guys. And so it was a really fun conversation. I would encourage you to go check it out. Welcome in, Blast Jordan, Squealit, True Purple, good to see you. Mind Trip Media, thank you ever so much for those 100 bits at the top of the stream. And Loki Loki is back. Apparently you're a regular now. <laughs> yep, you've earned the badge. Welcome in. Uh, so, to give you a quick re recap, this iron farm used to be about here. And the problem with that is that the golems were spawning out here on the ground instead of in the water trap where they are now currently spawning. So if we hang out here long enough, we will see a golem spawn, fall down the tube, and get burned in the lava. And that's how we're making our iron. This whole thing is the 1.21, or I guess it's 1.18 mechanics. But the, uh, the zombie, Scary Steven, scares these three villagers. They eventually summon a golem, and then it uh, repeats. Because once the golem drops, it is out of their detection range, and the golem will respawn. We get about 46 iron ingots an hour each golem drops somewhere between two and five i think and so uh, on average we get about uh 46 an hour now one adjustment that i did make after the stream on saturday was we had a problem where the golems were seeing the zombie and then they were not um going down the tube as fast as we want them to we want them just to kind of appear and go straight down i'm a little concerned that there hasn't been a golem here in the last 30 seconds or so uh but one of the things that I did was I surrounded the cauldron in glass and that breaks the line of sight from the the golems. So even if they're over here, they can't see through the glass to see the zombie. Like in a direct line, they can't see him. And so now the golems just, they come in and they go straight down. Uh, provided that they actually show up, which is, like I said, concerning. This was working before. I don't know why it wouldn't work now. It's got nothing to do with the spawn chunks. I'm in the area. So everything's loaded. I'm not sure what's going on there. I have to go back to my body though because it's going to get dark and I have to sleep. Uh, Dandelion, hello from Canada. Hello back from Nova Scotia. We've got... I'm going to put a little marker in here, I think, to see if we can't um mark how much we're getting i appreciate that you're here too loki joseph da12 welcome in i am not hearing any golems that is weirdly concerning Oh, there we go. There's one. So we've got 24 in there now. We'll see how much comes out. If your server restarted, it could take a night cycle before they spawn one. Other than that, it just might be broken. No, I think it's just... So we got three that time. So one of the things I'm curious about is whether or not this actually works when there is nothing loaded. I don't think that we, um, I don't think it'll work because I think the spawn chunks have now shrunk by default in the game. And we have not made any command adjustments, which I may have to look at live. So that's the last time we tested the iron farm. <laughs> it's a little while ago. 24, this is the 8th month, and it is the 13th day. Currently, it is 1.12 p.m. for me. I 
I'll wait for those to come in. Okay, now we leave. I don't know if that was long enough, but it should be fine. So what I'm curious about is if we go away, we're going to go somewhere else on the server um, and we'll uh, see if anything happens while we're gone. Because we should be getting at least one every, at least one golem every minute. It's usually about 30 to 45 seconds. If it's not in your, it's not in your spawn chunks if it took a night cycle. Oh, it's not in your spawn chunks if it took a night cycle? Okay, that's good to know. Uh, Dandelion, how did the update to 1.21 go? Is that what broke the iron farm? No, the iron farm was old mechanics. The iron farm was old mechanics. Where do we want to go? Uh, let's go. Do I need anything repaired? Oh, my elytra needs repaired. So let's go. Let's go down to the piglin farm and we'll just quickly repair our elytra. We've been flying around a lot with the vertical farm. This will just take a second, but it'll be a couple of minutes, which will be long enough for us to tell whether the farm is working when we're not there. My guess is that it is not. So it is no longer a server iron farm, it's an AFK iron farm. And we have to use some commands to expand the spawn chunks to be a little bit farther apart from where they are now. Not farther apart, I guess wider spread. Did that fix the whole elytra? No. Oh, they're still mad at me from last time. That's good to know. Loki, thanks. I'm glad you liked the Nether Hub. That was one of the biggest things we did right away, was the Nether Hub. I told you it wouldn't take very long. I'm looking forward to adding some crafters in here too. I think that'll be really cool. To address the 1.21 issue, uh, the only thing that broke uh, or did not get brought forward was the table and chairs data pack. Uh, that is just not being maintained or updated. So we are looking for a furniture mod to replace that. And then the other one was a view bobbing mod. I'm not sure if you can tell, but um, the camera moves when you walk. Uh, and it's not just the hand animation. The actual the crosshair actually goes back and forth. And I don't particularly like it. And so I had this little mod that removed the bouncing of the crosshair, but it maintained the bounce of the hand. So you always knew when you were running or walking or stuff like that. And so that has not been updated. Uh, the mod still exists, but it is not ready for 1.21. It's only for 1.20.1, I think. It worked all the way up until 1.20.4. Tuesday bonus stream subscription from Sweet Sandy. 43 months. Thanks so much. Uh, if you don't have other farms in the spawn chunks, you can move the spawn chunks and maintain the smaller, less laggy spawn chunks. No, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to expand it because it's not that far from the actual spawn area. Is the spawn region for a player, that 20 by 20 block radius, is that still the same? Yeah, see, nothing's happening. It's only happening when we're when we're here. Because that was long enough where they, we could have had at least a couple of golems should have come in there, right? So it's not, it is not working. So I'll show you where the spawn chunks are. They are right here, right next to it. He is not from the iron farm. He is from the end. Somebody made a bunch of golems in the end. And so this four by four area right here is the center of our spawn chunks. And this 20 block diameter circle is where players spawn. So if you die and lose everything in no bed, this is where you end up on the server in the overworld. And then we've got stuff in here for people. There's um, ender chests. There's, there was ender pearls down there. I guess there's not ender pearls down there anymore. I'm not sure why. I guess they've got cleaned out. Um, 
but that catches ender pearls from the end and brings them down here. It's it's very natural looking, but it actually does function. Um, so if we looked at the map, this will show us the chunks. So here is that's the spawn chunk middle. So it'd be one, two, three, and I guess four. So it might actually be there. So one, two, three, four. It might be in the spawn chunks. Like by a hair? Even though it didn't work. So all I would do would be expand the spawn chunks. The, the spawn chunks used to be 12. Right for redstone, it used to be 12 chunks. And you can see I've got little markers. There were little markers somewhere. I don't know if you can see them on the map. I think that's one there. But I had mapped out all of the spawn chunks by hand. There's one. That's definitely a marker there. And you can see them, see the dots in the lake. That's the edge of what used to be the old spawn chunks. It used to be this great big area like that all the way around. Yeah, they're now three by three, but I thought it was three by three, but then four fourth was the redstone, but I could be wrong. But this, I guess this isn't a redstone farm, is it? It does have redstone in it, so. But do you know what they what they center on, Loki? Do you know, is it a block? Is it a chunk? Like, is it three out from this chunk, or is it three chunks out from that that specific point? Either way, I'm going to move it, and I'm probably going to have it be large enough that it encompasses these. I'm not going to make it as big as it used to be, but I'll probably make it, like, one, two, three, four, five, six in diameter. Uh, centered on the chunk your compass points to. Okay, is there a compass in here? No. Do I have a compass? Probably not. Do, 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 do. I like our little spawn path that goes past all this cool stuff. So you see some really cool things when you first come onto the server. I might have a compass in here. I don't, but I can make one easy enough. It's redstone and iron, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it's underneath the crafting table. Oh, you know what? It might be. It's these four, and I thought it was these blocks here. It's the four andesite blocks underneath here. That's what it is. See how it turns right around? So that means that this chunk that I'm in right now is the middle chunk and so it would be if I can draw a line so that's one two three you said four five is that how I would measure it would be that because that and that's the case one two three four five then it should function right or is it not a not a square? Is it a is it a sphere or a circle? Villagers don't spawn in lazy. Okay, so one, two, three, two, three. I yeah, look, the villagers are just not inside of it. The villagers <laughs> The villagers are in this chunk right here, and my spawn chunks end there. <laughs> so one, two, three, three, yeah. So even if it is a square, we just have to increase the radius on it by like, I don't know, probably two or three chunks. I'll have to look up the, the command for that later. I'm the admin on the server, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But I uh, appreciate the help, Loki. That's that's very helpful. Villagers, once again, proving that they are a pain in the butt, as always.
so if that's the case, uh, the next task is to decide how to potentially move the spawning platform. I can probably just put this out here. So turn that off and we'll take a look. So I'm pretty sure that this was functioning for a little while before. And what we have up here are two boxes using GitHub to, not GitHub, this is uh, Minihud. So the white box inside is the spawning area and the gray box on the outside is the detection area. But because the white box does not touch anything outside of this one little blue water soaked platform uh, and there's carpet on the top of this stuff so it's all spawn proof, then that means there is no reason to be concerned about the mountain that is inside the gray box. That should be fine. We can, we can still landscape this and make it look cool. We're just not going to um, worry too much about completely removing it. I think this section here might get knocked down just aesthetically. I think I'd like to have a smaller mountain here. Just have it be a little bit more dynamic. And we'll probably make it look a little bit more sloped and stuff like that. But what I would like to do is I would like to encase this in a design and in order to do that it would be easier if this platform was higher so we can put that platform anywhere we want inside of this box we could put it up here if we wanted to uh, they will still spawn up there we would just have to make sure that the chute would go down in between um, but that would be a problem because then of course they wouldn't be able to see each other so as long as we have a clearance for this guy to spawn then we can move this up by at least a couple blocks uh, so we're going to go up there and measure what might work. And I'm going to put in a temporary secondary platform and just see if we can get that to, to work. Uh, so we will get all the things we need for that. Don't need shears right now. We will need a heck of a lot of scaffolding. We will need a lot of dirt potentially some grass, definitely some moss carpets. We will need water buckets and fence gates. And then also, I guess I'm not going to be too worried about using glass and concrete right now. We'll just use dirt and stuff to see if it works. How close am I to finishing West Hill? Not super close. I was trying to get it done for one, for one, uh, one dot twenty one, but yeah, did not did not happen. That could be entirely too high. Oh my gosh, far too high. Okay. It is the build that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. Yeah, that's fair. We're all, we're almost there. I think the biggest um, bottleneck right now for West Hill and why I'm taking a nice break from it is that I don't have a final choice for a furniture mod. We're leaning on Valhelsia furniture. Uh, if you do bang Joel's mods in chat, you'll get a link to my spreadsheet that has all the mods. And uh, I think Valhelsia furniture is on that, or maybe it's on a different sheet. But you can find it easy enough on, on Modrins. So, one thing we need to figure out where one, two, three. How tall is a golem? Are they th are they three? They're not quite three blocks tall, right? What does the wiki say? Uh, iron golem behavior data values does not say let me just I'll bring this up so you all can see what I'm looking at too Two 
2.7, says Sweet Sandy. Where'd you find that so quickly? Just so I know how to look it up in the future. Is it right at the top? Oh, there we go. Height, 2.9. Oh, no, wait a minute. Java edition, Bedrock edition. They're taller in Bedrock? I didn't realize that. Hitbox size, 2.7. So then they should spawn within three blocks. So then if I put the spawning platform at this level, then that should work. Be very careful because anything or anyone that goes into that is going straight down into lava. So. I guess I should do this a lot higher, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, so that's two. That should work. This will just be a little bit easier to encase in a design. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Sorry about that. I forgot. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Sweet Sandy, appreciate it. I've not put things up on screen in a while. I forget sometimes. What I really should do is have that up on a timer. See, now he's seeing the zombie for some reason. Why is he seeing the zombie? You should not be able to see the zombie, sir. Anyway, all I did when I had the silly screen up was um, was this. Uh, so we can place this down here. Now they can't reach the zombie from here, I don't think. Time to get that water in. <laughs> So 
So it might be a problem if they're up this high. Oh, that's going to flood. Crap. Well, now I've got obsidian down the bottom. Whoops. This is going to be tricky. Nope. Crap. That's bad. Yeah. Alright, we're going to go at this from below. Alright, so this is now spawn proof. The question is, will the golems get caught up? Oh, I didn't, um, didn't spawn proof the inside, did I? That'll, well, no, it won't be tall enough. It's only two blocks tall, I think. And so it's working. I don't think me being here has anything to do with it. I think it'll just spawn a new golem. I mean, really, we could create a larger glass platform around this zombie. That doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't think they can see him. We could always, again, put a, a larger ring. So it's a, it's a three by three ring, but we could expand that. It doesn't really have to be small. But you can see now that by moving this up higher, there's a much smaller box to create a design around. And I think that's what I want to do. I'm just kind of waiting for one to spawn over here. Oh, so he saw the zombie. Oh, see, over here they want to get him, and so they go right across the hole. It's over here when they see him and they try to go back this way that it's a problem. Uh, just to play Wither's Advocate, do you have a lightning rod set up around this? I do not, but I could. Um, this is, the villagers are covered, so they shouldn't get struck by lightning. Unless you know something I don't, Icosphere. Yeah, the, that's a, that's a sodium thing. Sodium culls the backs of blocks, so you can't see through them to the other side. I also have a connected glass texture pack, but yeah, it's a little bit strange that it does that. I wish there was a setting in Sodium that you could turn off. Yeah, see, he still saw the golem. Well, let's, let's grab some glass and see if we can block that, just out of curiosity. Oh, that's clear glass. I want that one. Yeah, 
It is really strange that it creates that kind of render. I guess we can't really do anything over here because I want to try to maintain this ledge. But I think that that might help. Well, he didn't see him. Other mobs will spawn on the other level? Uh, yes, potentially. Um, but I'm not leaving that other level there, um, Makins. I'm, now that I know that this is working and that they can't see the zombie, I'm going to dismantle the other level. Thanks, though. Fire tick is off on the server. So that's fine. Uh, thanks. What is my elytra design? Oh, yeah. It's, um... It's like a tech... It's like a weird tech elytra thing. Um, let me get somewhere so I can spot. Kind of like the green goblin wings, almost. I really like them. I don't remember where I picked them up, but I want to create something cool for my sci-fi area. I want to create a model that actually looks really neat. Dan Grice, subscribing at Tier 1 for 41 months. Thanks ever so much. Yeah, I think we're good as far as the spawning goes. So now I'm going to pop down here and uh, destroy the bottom thing. How do I get in here? Grandpa Crafter has set up a monthly tip. $27.45. Thanks to Cosmic cents. Dancer for teaching me how to share this toast. Yum. Thanks, Grandpa Crafter. I didn't know that I had audio reading on. I didn't think that that was a thing. Uh, but appreciate it. Thanks for the monthly tip. Uh, folks, if you're curious as to what Grandpa Crafter just did, uh, Grandpa Crafter has set up a rotating monthly donation through Streamlabs. So if you go to the uh, donation button underneath my Twitch window, then you can um, click on... Uh, stream, the donation button, go to Streamlabs, and then instead of a one-time donation, you can set it up to recur on the same day of the month that you choose, uh, which is usually the day that you make the donation. Um, but if I'm not live when you do the donation, then you get what's oh, called a toast, which is what Grandpa Crafter just did because his donation came in like two or three days ago, four or five days ago. And so uh, because I wasn't live, or Grandpa Crafter wasn't around, Grandpa Crafter can come in and still do the, the credit and the toast here live on stream, which is very, very cool. And it's worth noting that uh, those donations go through PayPal, and it is a very, very small fee to me through PayPal. Uh, it's, it's much less than Twitch or Patreon. So if you're looking for a way to support your favorite streamers and they have a donation button, generally speaking, like if you donated something like $10, I think the streamer sees nine dollars and 69 cents of that essentially it's a, it's a very small fee i think it's 30 cents plus two point something percent from paypal it's very very reasonable uh so uh, again thank you so much grandpa crafter that's extraordinarily generous i really appreciate it especially because you've set that up to be every month it's uh such a such a cool thing um i might hit you up in discord afterwards uh to talk about the the audio toast i didn't know that that was a thing that's new to me um but uh very cool all right, let's get in here. Where does my other scaffolding? I thought I had another one, but I guess I don't. I just set this up, but we're going to have to get out this way. One, two, three. This is where I want to go in. So the dirt is temporary. We are going to be making this look a lot nicer in the long run. But 
before I move this platform, I should go get glass and concrete as well. So we'll go do that. Green glass and green concrete. Seems to be working pretty well. I don't think it's changed the rates. I mean, eventually when I change the spawn chunk radius, it's going to be an on all the time farm. So I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm going to do another one of these, I think, for myself personally. Thread the needle here. I obviously did not destroy my lava, so that's good. Okay, so now we are left with just the bare bones. And even though this is temporary, that one missing block would indeed bother me. Yeah, I didn't get my lava didn't get destroyed. That's good. I guess it must have hit the fence gates. Thanks for the temporary lurk, Squealit. Always nice to have people stick around. Uh, oh, Loki, um, we've got a command here in chat. Now that you're a regular, actually, it'll, it'll come in handy. Uh, if you are here in the chat, but you are maybe not at the keyboard, maybe you're doing the dishes while you're listening to my stream or watching over someone's shoulder, uh, then you can hit the, the bang lurk command and let everybody else in the chat that you might talk to on a regular basis know that you're here and that you're watching and you're supporting the stream, but you're just not able to talk. Maybe like I watch streams sometimes when I'm cooking and you get your hands full of like sauce or chicken or something and you just can't get to the keyboard. And so that's that's what that's for. Okay, so now I think we can start to look at how I might want to decorate this. And... I think I'm going to actually remove this entire bottom. I was talking with Pix on this, uh, the sponge trunks on Monday, yesterday, and I really like the idea of creating kind of like a, a burning chamber. And we have all these new blocks like tough and deep slate, and we've got tough bricks and all kinds of stuff that I think would go really good here. So I think it would be fun to create kind of like Instead of this log concrete thing, I think we could, if we create like a little bit of a, 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 a furnace look could be really, really cool here. I do want to also create some um, supports, and I think they're going to be wider than that. So in a way, I guess we have to figure out where the supports are going to come into play. And... This has got the logs. This has got some strip logs, which I want to incorporate as well. Are we going to do dark oak or am I going to do regular spruce? I think that's reg I think that's dark oak. If I do dark oak, I'm going to have to make a trip. Oh no, I've got some logs here. What is this? I think this is dark oak.
Yeah, dark oak. Okay. Watch while working. Yep. And don't worry, I won't tell your boss. All right, let's take a look at this. So I can absolutely change this into like a log frame. And we want this to be spawn proof. But I also want to, I think I might just encase this whole thing. I think I want a design that goes up to the top here. So to create something that doesn't have too big of a footprint, I'll probably try to keep these corners as the inside space. I can't do that though. There. So I don't think it matters. That's glass. I don't think it matters that it's glass. I think that we can we can go right up there if I wanted to. So we can extend this vertically. I just have to make sure that I go outside of the little white box unless I want it to be spawn proof so oops uh, what's my favorite thing about Java Minecraft I think it's accessibility to people I think that it um, the fact that it's so easy to share stream it and stuff I think that you can learn a lot just by watching other people I think that's what it is. The five. I'm going to bring up some dark oak. So I'll create a bit of a frame. What I should do is grab a screenshot of my old iron farm. Do I have a thumbnail? I do. So I can change that. I did take a couple screenshots of the old one. That's a decent shot. Just to kind of keep some inspiration up on stream. And then I'll open a big version for myself. So it had some cross logs across the top of it and then it had some obviously the doors are something i don't think that we can reproduce but it had like a double support on the bottom all right well we'll start with the corners and then i'll replace everything else from there So I'm going to do one corner and then we'll see where we want to drop the supports and see if it makes sense. You know, I made the switch to a darker UI uh, this time around and um, I'm surprised. Like I, I barely notice. I think it's great, but I, I thought it was going to be jarring. I put all my scaffolding back. That was dumb.
Sometimes I wish you could place blocks a bit lower. So if we had a corner piece like that, and that's the inside corner, so then we would want this to go out by a block. What I should do is get some gravity blocks, or I could just use this. Does scaffolding just break if I break the thing? Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm just going to get some concrete powder. That will be easy to see. And more scaffolding. What's for lunch, squeal it? I had a tuna fish sandwich. A 20 by 20 <laughs> statue of Joel? No, nah, we're not going to go there. So if I did a three by three bit here, then I could use that to mark the corner and that to mark the corner. Like that. So that could be something. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. So let's just go two, three, four. So imagine that, but all the way up. And I guess what I could do, start to get rid of some of this. One of the nice things about symmetrical designs... Oh, that missing glass? Really? Huh. That's surprising. Uh, is that you can start to do like design concepts on either a quarter or half of it. And you can kind of A-B test stuff. Oh, does that have to be there? Is that my water source? I think that's my water source. I will come back to that. So we used to have a collection system right here. There used to be just chests right there. I almost broke that. Sixteen. I'm gonna go with. Well, I guess I could just go. Thirty. That would be a really neat tool in Minecraft if you had something that you could extend and retract by a certain number of blocks like scaffolding without having to break it all at once. That was a pretty good guess. So this, I think, is going to have supports out on the side like that. I don't know whether that looks too wide. 
maybe we should rail it in a bit. I'll try a different measurement on the other side. Be careful, that could be very much lighting up the area below. You don't think it's wide enough, really? I like the tall thinness of the center column and I, I'm wondering if this is maybe taking away from it but I'll do a little bit more and see what I can do all right so here what I did was I went out two from the corner so instead of that Maybe I'll only just go out one from the corner. So then this would be the spot. And then one, two to there. And then one here. So it would be supported in the corner like that. Now I gotta be careful up here. Are these in the these are in the box, I think. Oh yeah, they totally are. Hundred percent. I can just use leaves for now. Scaffolding is not spawn proof or is, is not spawnable, but um, obviously regular dirt blocks are. I don't know if I have enough scaffolding to test both sides. I do not. Oh, do I have more scaffolding anywhere? My bamboo is not here with me. Do I have a favorite mechanic in the game? Um, hmm. Actually, you know what? I do. I like, um, I think it's really cool that you can move um, things around with water. Ever since 1.13. That, that's been one of my favorite, favorite things. So I could get rid of this stack in the middle. So the nice thing about having it out there is that it gives an extra block. Um, so you can see the gap here. There is still a gap there. I don't want it to be so close that this like this pillar touches the middle pillar visually. I think I prefer the one on the left here. Uh, 
I mean, we could make it. We could bring it in by one more. And just see. See what it looks like. Have it be more like a pedestal. Than a, than a quad. Like a table. Stream is one hour old, says Sandy. Time for break. You are indeed right. You are indeed right. This is the kind of thing that I will be taking a long time to make the decision on, so might as well step away and get that break. Uh, if anybody in the chat is new, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to refresh my coffee, maybe grab a glass of water. You can too. Maybe even grab a friend. And what I'll do even for that five or six minutes, I'll, I'll give this another test, but I'm pretty sure that this is just not, not working when we're not here. Cool. So I'll just AFK here in the nether and I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
So my guess is that there is nothing beyond that iron ingot. At least there shouldn't be. Second time's a charm. I do not like that you guys are out here, though. No. Okay. That, that said 15. I guess I should have taken that out. There could have been an iron and golem in the in the process, I guess. Yeah, I do not like that these guys are out here. It's going to be annoying. They hit like trucks, though. Oh, do I have any scaffolding in the nether? I guess I should have checked. Thank you, Sandy. This is all old storage. I don't think I have this kind of stuff in here. No. I don't know where else I would have it without going all the way back to um, to West Hill. That's fine. Well, I might have to go back to West Hill to get my deep slate anyway. I did not bring that with me. Maybe that's the thing to do. Maybe that's the thing to do. Yeah, maybe that's the thing to do. Okay. A little bit of legwork, but it will make our life a lot easier. Road trip. You are correct. I'm not going to walk it, though. We're going to be quick about this. An iron farm modeled after Baba Yaga's house would be very cool. You're right, Squealit. That would be a fun design. Man, you realize just how much you've done when you step away for a bit. <laughs> you go to an area that's seven years old on the server and then you uh, come back to an area that you've been working in consistently for three years. All right, what do I need? I'm going to need carved deep slate. I'm going to need deep slate. I'm going to need Probably some basalt. Iron ore would be cool. I thought I had another box that had ore in it. Oh, I already brought it with me. Don't need anything from there. Uh, bamboo for more scaffolding. I think I'll need that. I'll bring that just in case. It was mostly the dark stuff and the bamboo. Uh, yeah, I've got string in my wool. I've got string in the wool box there. But if I have any in here, I will also bring it as well. Okay, quick trip. Having the teleport blocks for our zones really does help a lot. The valley is looking pretty good. I think once we get this section all done, 
I'll be very, very happy. It's crazy how much closer together everything is when you fly. I've never timed that walk that I remember, but it's like, it's a good few minutes. Flying it is 30 seconds, not even. Okay, shulker boxes can go down. Put these over here. So I guess I'll try one more a bit closer together. So I'll mark it, I guess, with a shovel. There, and then maybe what we'll try to do is use some deep slate. create some sort of structure down here at the bottom. Make some more bamboo scaffolding. That should be enough. That just should hit a ceiling. Yep. This won't, I don't think. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. So that's why we had leaves over so much of it before is because the leaves were the spawn proof block that we choose to both decorate it and create a spawn proof platform.
uh, I think I prefer. I think I like it having it out, having it out by one. I think it just gives a little bit more room. What do we think? I think I need to get rid of that middle scaffolding, unfortunately, so I can see clearly. I think it's between this. I think is too wide, so I think we'll do another one. Um, just with the same sort of blocks. Need some more bricks. And this may not be bricks. We might be able to do other things with these two. Tile, who knows? So my idea here is to have these legs have like a hollow part where we can have them glow. Oh, Squealit, that's really nice. I really, I'm glad that you like the, the walk on the server. Uh, let's go up and tick that out. I don't know whether having stone at the bottom is going to throw off this design or not. Where is this new, is this the right spot? Yeah, okay, so I'll do one, two, three, and we'll carpet that or leave it, I guess. No, oh. That was close. So what I think I want to do is create a bit of a furnace down here. I just don't know. It was not going to make any sense to have the logs go into the furnace. So we need 30. Scaffolding is handy for this. Being able to quickly mock up your towers, I think is really, really, really nice. Kind of busy in the middle without the gap. I mean, we, we could also make these solid. They don't have to be hollow. I just like the idea of having the, the insides of these glow. So my thought here would be to have something like orange glass maybe. And I don't think I brought any of the verdant frog lights, but I do have shroom lights somewhere. So I could do something like this. Which like doesn't doesn't look like much now, but sometimes you can have it look pretty cool with shaders on, right?
I see what you mean, Sandy. It does look kind of kind of busy. Plus, if we have this gap, we can have more of a shape in here. Four blocks is really not a lot of room to do anything, but six blocks is enough to create, I think, the kind of arch that I want to make. Oxidized copper bulbs, that would be cool too. I really want this to glow. I love the fact that this looks so cool, uh, especially like if we turn shaders on. Like this to me just looks really, really fun. Um, so I'd like to do something like that. I, w I wish that sodium had options to, to render glass differently. I'm not a big fan. I want to do that glass fog effect in some places, but I can't. So I, I think the decision is going to be to have the wide stance. I mean, it's not to say that we can't have the front be wide and the back ones be close. We could have the back be closer and the front be out wide like that. That could be a thing. We also could have it be wide at the bottom and then we could have it like curve in, like go in a step as well. If I wanted it to have that tall top part, we could, we could also try that too. But I think the base for sure is going to get this kind of a, a deal. So I'll move this. Rain and scaffolding. It is nice to be able to take it down so quickly for your mock-ups. It's fun. One on the right gets your vote? Yeah, I think so too. So that is one past the green. There. I think it was 30. Is there an easy way to turn this farm off? Other than just, I guess, block the hole up there? Yep, I think that's a good decision. I may tinker around with the top later, but for now. That was weird timing on my axe swing. <laughs> it looks like I killed that golem. Don't remember why these are like this. Might be because you can see it from the inside. Yeah, so that water, I think, I think it has to run. Yeah, I think it has to run that way. Otherwise, it doesn't run at all. Otherwise, it doesn't run in that direction. We might actually have to take a look at this once I build up a little frame around this. I might want to change the way that this, that like the height of the golem killing chamber, that might change a little bit. I need more blocks. I think tile will probably be a better choice here. Darker. This could be fun too. So I kind of want to wait to see where the head is at for the golem. Cause I think it would be kind of neat if this wasn't 
green glass, but if it was orange glass, you could make it look like a glowing furnace where they're getting burned. We have to have... Right, so we have to have the lava at head level. Uh, I guess this would be tile. That's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. Oops. We can change the shape of the chamber so that this doesn't show up. So we definitely have to have the lava visible, or at least the lava has to be the head level. What if it's a smaller window? No, it looks like a frog. <laughs> Nothing to say you can't have three to four layers of lava for the look, as long as you have the gap at the bottom for the drops. Right. Right, so the, those signs could be lower, right? Is that what you're saying? It's going to bother me. That's kind of cool. So yeah, we could have... We could have... If I have two two layers of lava, though, then you probably can't see the golem. I mean, we can test this. We can test this. I like that, too. So my thought here would be to have like this thing be the middle and we could have it be, I thought it was going to get a little bit more of a shape out of it, but I would like to have something that maybe has like a lip to it. So it sort of looks like the golems are going into a big, big drop, a big vat. And then we can change the footprint of this. Make it look a little beefier. The green is throwing me off right now, but we'll get there. 
And out here, we could just do that. Yeah, and then maybe have this kind of go up like this. It's sort of the right shape. I was hoping to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe it has to go higher. Yeah, I think maybe we'll try a little higher. Even just one block might be okay. So it goes to there, and then one, four, and then have it come out this way. to go and then that and then we can change the change the green to something else and then this could be stair I don't know. I think if I did that, I'd have to raise, raise this. And then maybe these have to be full blocks. The iron drops from the bottom of the golem, yeah. Yeah, you'll watch it here in a second. You'll see it, you'll see it fall down there. See it? So the iron drops, uh, there's a one block by two block gap there, and there's water that's flowing across this way. So it always gets shot down into the water stream. Here, hold on, I'll go down and I'll show you. Do, 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 do. You'll see a drop right there. Iron goes up there. And then poppies go down this way. Mm 
We're gonna have to change the way that this room is accessed as well. So yeah, I would like to sort of get a better shape going here, but it's hard to see with this particular tile. Try to make it look sort of round. I kind of wanted to look like a kiln, I guess, is what I'm going for overall. And I guess it'll work if I have... I don't mind that green. Like, if we'll change the green to something else, I think it could work. Just this looks a little bit funny. Unless I want more of that exposed. I could take these down. And just have... That kind of exposed there, and then... Nope. I guess I'd want stairs there keep running into blocks that's better i'd rather have that than a little little fleck because then we can change this to the salt and we could either do stairs or stairs and slabs Man, it's dark already. I can get rid of some stuff in my inventory here. Let's get rid of some of the dark oak. Grandpa Crafter, thank you ever so much again for the monthly donation. I really appreciate it and uh, have a good evening. Thanks for hanging out. Good to chat with you. I sent you a DM on Discord. I kind of like that. Over stairs. I think that that looks maybe a little bit more sturdy. I mean, we could do it this way too. Hmm, it's tough. I think that does look a little bit better and then we could play around with like having little windows in places emphasize by changing that glass um, into orange glass which again we could do now What is this? Stair and a stair and a slab and a slab. Oh crap. Well, I forgot that there was a sign on that. <laughs> Whoops.
Seems like it still worked. So we could remove the signs and those signs could keep the water back and keep the lava back. I could add lava to the top as, as um, Sandy suggested and that doesn't matter as long as there's a gap at the bottom. Yeah, I don't think the ingots are being lost. I hear them hit the water. We could also make the lava pit at the bottom wider. Like, I think it would be better to have the lava go right over to the edge here, like this whole area. I think that looks okay. I think it looks a little monochrome. I think I might want to change the top parts. I think that's pretty good. That's a stair. Yeah. It's almost like you want to get the basic structure in first and then start to needle around at the places. And I guess that also can be seen. That glass can be seen up there too, which is kind of cool. Not that people are going to see it from the air much, but I think that's kind of fun. Although, if we want to take the glass all the way to the side, yeah, we may have to think slightly differently about that. I almost want another material. I feel like our details are getting lost in here. I don't think blackstone would be what I want. It'll let light out the top too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it'll be lit. Lit from below. Just a little bit. You can see a little orange glow in there. Probably more visible at night. I do have chiseled. I do have a bit of blackstone in there. Not on purpose. Blackstone... I do have black nether bricks, but I try not to use them too much. I have blackstone somewhere back at the West Hill storage. There's also blackstone in the nether, I think. But I think blackstone in general is just going to be the wrong color. It's just an ugly block. Just an ugly block. Yeah, that feels weird. Maybe we can put the basalt out there? Also, no. Maybe I do have to go with the black nether brick. You like the chiseled corner, Sandy? I could also go with black concrete, which is like crazy dark.
black nether brick looks good. It without the texture pack, it would be like that purpley nether brick texture. But then, should the background be the nether brick? Like, should the nether brick be up there? Instead? Maybe I've got the textures backwards. So this would stay deep slate. Yeah, definitely no on the concrete. So this would stay deep slate. And then this would end up being another brick. I think that's maybe what we need to do. This was not supposed to be this complicated. And then maybe get rid of that. I wonder what the chiseled one looks like in the corner there. Nope. It's a little simpler. This could maybe even be a slab. I think maybe we have to take these back to polished. I think I like that. I like the black in the background. I think that really helps. And like Sandy said, it should light up. Yeah, it's neat. So that could be hidden I really wanted it to the vampire maid hello welcome in we are currently trying to design a new bottom to the iron farm and I am swiftly running out of time That goes down into two bricks. That's a stair? Stair behind there.
then this is basalt. I have to change the angle on the stairs, but that's about right. We also have walls that we can play with too. pretty good. I wasn't planning on having it being a viewable spot from all three sides, but yeah, I wish we had just a little bit more, I guess, design space here. Do I want this to be a stair? Maybe this front one is just a little bit bigger. I guess I could remember that there's supposed to be another pillar here too. This is where I'm going to have to do some landscaping because it doesn't leave a lot of room um, for the cliff here. I don't know what we're going to do for this part. Well, these could also be tighter. We were talking about these not having to be exactly the same distance we could nudge that in and actually cover up that space right there so this pillar could be in that space if we wanted to not have a complete air gap through the whole thing i don't know it might be better to not have both these and this as stone it may be better i think the um I think this might be a good way to go, the basalt. So it's that in a corner. And then that and that. It's always weird learning your own design. And then we've got bricks, slabs, and slabs. I don't know, I think maybe the front should have a bigger window.
Stream time's at two hours. Thanks very much. No, no, I, I can't keep going. Sandy, thank you, though. I do have to wrap things up. I have to be an adult. <laughs> I mean, I know this is my job, but I have other things I have to do today. I think that's how I did this sign. And then this should be Blackstone. Not Blackstone, this is... For me, it's Black Nether Brick, but this is just Nether Brick. Instead of that weird wine color, it's nice and black. I guess we could try slabs here. Underneath that is supposed to be all. That is a stair. No, that's a. F yeah, it's a stair. And do the stairs go sideways on the ends? Yes. And that's what exposes the basalt. a little bit more basalt. This, uh, all this green concrete might end up being not green concrete at all. I'm not sure whether it's going to continue all the way up. It depends, I guess, if we have any green spots on the top. Right, so that comes down. And this is different, I think. Is that back there? It's two pieces of glass. So that's the same size hole. If we wanted to change this to make it different. We could do that. It's growing on me. I think there'll be some iterations happening. I think once we get the lava inside sorted, it'll make a little bit more sense. And the top is a little bit weird looking. Doesn't have quite the same. It's thicker here than I want it to be. So we'll have to worry about that and see what we can come up with. It does need a little bit more contrast. I'm glad we decided to go with the black nether brick. But uh, I agree, Dan. Yeah, it's not a bad start. Not a bad start. I do like the basalt on the pillars. I think what's going to happen is that we're going to take these stone pillars up to like somewhere around there. And then we'll switch them to something else. 
wood maybe or maybe that's when they'll go in closer could do that too uh, but i'd like to have more lights like coming down this way and unfortunately it's going to be really difficult to hide lights in this so we might make this all out of lights i don't know um sandy mentioned copper bulbs because they're so dim i don't know if i have any copper bulbs i'm not even sure i know how to make a copper bulb because those are 1.21 blocks right You can turn them off. Yeah, no, no, I know you can turn them off. I just wanted them to be consistent. They're going to be the right color, I think. What's the recipe for copper bulb? Is it redstone lamp? I've not looked this up before. Blaze rod and copper ingot. Blaze rod and copper ingot. Do, 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 do. I do have an end box somewhere. But I don't think it's in my chest. It's alright. It'll be good 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 for next time. Good for next time, because I do get a run. So so far I do like this. It has sort of the right shape. I think the problem I have right now is that my pillars are the same color as my kiln, my furnace. And so I think what I need to do is make sure that we change the footprint of these to something else. So I'll have to figure out what, what that's going to be. I don't know what color. I'd want it to be stone. Maybe we have to go with regular stone bricks and andesite. You know, this, this kind of a thing. We're getting a little bit lost. Certainly not going to be brick um, bricks here. We could use the new tough blocks, maybe. That might that might be a good way to do it. We've got all those different chiseled blocks as well. That would tie in better with the green at the top as well. Wanted to do that. Uh, I guess we would do maybe these. I don't know. A little bit busy. But you can see how the color difference helps immediately, right? Like dark and then light in the front. So whatever we do here. It'll definitely be a different color, at least a different shade. Um, anyway, that is where I'm going to wrap things up for today. Thanks so much for hanging out, folks. I really appreciate all of the support. Uh, thanks to Grandpa Crafter, to Dan Grice, to Sweet Sandy, Mindtrip Media. Y'all are awesome. Uh, Sweet Sandy, thank you ever so much for the moderation help as well. Uh, we are going to be poking at this for the rest of the week, I'd imagine. So I'll be back again tomorrow for my regular stream day. This was just a bonus day. Uh, that'll be at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. Check out the latest episode of The Spawn Chunks. It's available at thespawnchunks.com as well as on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube. It's a video version and I think it's a really fun watch. So check that out. And stay tuned for the Citadel Cafe episode 483. It is almost done. I've got it mostly edited. That's something that I'll have to finish tonight. And so you can expect that to be published either tonight or tomorrow. And I will pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. I don't know who that is just yet. But I'm sure you will enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I have not seen Tadpole Milk streaming in a while. 
Uh, although, looks like we are going to send you along. How about Scott Major, S Major? We've not rated them in a little while. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. They're on the Fantasy SMP. That's something that uh, Pixel Riffs is playing on as well. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.